The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? I hate when I do that. Cardi B. Uh, she posted a video, and the video consists of her talking her shit. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Bodak Yellow is the hottest song in the country right now. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Bodak Yellow, I, I, I was watching Joe Budden's podcast yesterday, and they were arguing about what was the hottest song of the summer. Listen to me, guys. French Montana's Unforgettable ain't the hottest. I don't really care for that song. I think Sway Lee was dope, but French, what, what you, if you want the drama guy to ooze, well, no, get out of here. I, I, and I like French. I really do, but it's not it's not the song of the summer. Who else did they say it? Uh, they say Wild Thoughts is in the running. I definitely would give you that, but to me, the streets rocking with Bodak Yellow. The clubs rocking with Bodak Yellow. So maybe Wild Thoughts in the mainstream world, and people like Wild Thoughts. Don't get, don't get me wrong, it's Rihanna. People love that song. But you talking about when you go to these clubs, the people ain't in these clubs going ham on Wild Thoughts. They going ham for Bodak Yellow. These women know Bodak Yellow word for word. And the niggas, don't, don't get it twisted. When Bodak Yellow's in the car, let's just say this. I ain't turning it off. I might not go out of my way to play it, but when it's on in the radio, I ain't turning it off. It's hot. Like, it, it's, it got that uh, Kodak Black no flocking feel to it. It's like one song a year. I think it has that Young and May, ooh, feel to it. And damn it, it looks like New York gonna have the song of the summer again. Young and May definitely had the song of the summer last year. And it looks like, it looks like. Cardi B is going to have the song of the summer for 2017. That's what I see. Anyway, she was talking about fucking her way to the top. She was like, look, um, I hate when people say you got to smash your way to the top when you're a woman MC or whatever it is. When it's a woman, period, they got to fuck their way to the top. And I got a lot of respect for Cardi B. Um, she's revitalized. She's took it being a stripper and really made herself into a businesswoman. Like, I, you can't, can't do nothing but respect that. I don't like to see my women in the strip clubs for the rest of their lives, but I love to see my black women get in, get out. If that's what they got to do to make it, uh, it looks like Cardi B's doing a, a very good job at that. And she's a rapper now. She's not even showing her body like that anymore. Um, anyway, she was talking about smashing her way to the top, and she was like, I wish I could find somebody that could got that kind of kind of power that she could smash her way to the top she's like i grew my stuff through um being a stripper loving hip-hop and my followers right and they all kind of coincide with each other and she was like what did i smash a follower to the top what did i smash mona scott to the top uh mona scott that is her name right mona scott young or some shit like that anyways she was like i i didn't do that i i organically grew my brand and people were in, interested in cardi b and i gotta respect her for that and it looks like it's showing listen i'm gonna tell y'all the truth i've been meaning to tell y'all this for quite some time cardi b has a window if she can put out really dope music if she can do that to be the new Nicki minaj i know people are like whoa 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 telefair don't you you're just gonna say Nicki? is that easy to be Nicki? no it's not Nicki has did this consecutively for almost a decade now um Let's make this clear though. Cardi B, she has that Nikki like feel to her, right? Where it's so crazy out. You know how she talks. I don't want to really just try to mock her, but the little shang, 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 all that stuff, that little, you know, all that talk, people love it. And they eat we like stuff that's different. We like things that show us more or less of who we are as people and not what these celebrities act like. And Cardi B's giving us that. She's just herself. You know, she talks about her plastic surgeries. And she talks about how that she feels like one day she might drop dead because of him. She's herself. And I think people really buy into Cardi B, the person, not the brand. And when you can connect your brand with the person and it's pretty much the same thing, you're in a good space. And I think right now in a world where people are starting to shy away from Nikki a little bit outside of her fan base, obviously, I think I think Nick, uh, Cardi B has an opportunity if she can get the raps down. Right, if she because she can make records, and that's what Remy's trying to figure out now. Remy can't make hit records. Remy can out rap Cardi B, but she can't make records like Cardi B can. And Bodak Yellow is showing you that, like she's spitting on it a little bit. It's it, it's it's a nice song you can put it on the radio. It, it I'm telling you, man, Cardi B has an opportunity to be huge, and she talks about how she's becoming huge, and she didn't have to smash her way to the top. She says she wished she could have smashed her way to the top. What do you think about Cardi B's comments? Talk to me in the comment box below. And do you agree with Telefero? Does Cardi B have a window 
to be the biggest thing as a women MC. And let me ask y'all this: What do y'all think about that Bodak Yellow song? It's it's blowing up the radios. I didn't I had to let these hoes know. I'm just I'm just talking my shit here. Thank y'all for the timeless part. Don't take granted. Salute. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so for more exclusive content like this. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah.